these two over here are wood element and this is yang wood this is fresh this is the thunder this is the strong growth and then this wood is more yin wood this is um, more mature uh, growth and then we have the two metal over here on this side of the babla and this is associated with the father right so this is strong metal this is organizing and structure and then this metal also has those, but it's more uh, of a, a softer approach. It's more yin metal. And then we have earth, which goes across this axis here. So this is two earth, this is five, which is in the center, and this is eight earth. And then we have the polar opposites of fire and water opposite each other. So here are the numbers. These are the numbers for nine star, and they're the numbers for the Bagua. So this is this is it. So um, you know when you find out your nine star, there's information within the Bagua that will um, help you understand a little bit about your element, your number, but also what is good for you um, at a very basic level. So your nine star comes with three numbers. So the first number is your principal number. This is your basic personality. And I like to say it's equated to like your sun sign. So like what you know, oh, I'm a Taurus or I'm a Leo. That is your basic personality. The second number is known as your character number. It also represents your inner nature and your emotional self. So sometimes people really identify more with their middle number because if they're really emotional reactive people that middle number might be more closely associated with who they are then their third number is the energetic number it's really how you work how you express yourself and it's basically the first impression people have of you so um i had a teacher who once